Hello my YouTube friends. Today I want to dig deeper into my favorite OBS plugin, the Move Transition plugin. If you don't know what plugins are, they're free add-ons to OBS that can add extra features to your live stream. The Move Transition will allow you to transition objects from one scene to another really smoothly, like this. And it will also allow you to move assets around a scene during your live stream, like this. So let's get to it. My analytics say that 80% of the folks that have watched my content haven't subscribed. So if you ever got anything from any of my videos and you like what I do and I have helped you in the past, then do me a big favor and subscribe to the channel. And why not click that bell so you don't miss any new content. The first thing we need to do is install the Move plugin into our OBS. The links are in the description below if you want to follow along. Here we are in the install page for the Move Transition and the version that I'm installing is 2.2.1. Yours may be newer, but they should work the same. And if I scroll down here, there are some instructions on how this works. We're just gonna click the download in the top right, and you can download the Windows installer, the Windows zip file, or the Mac OS install. And of course, there's one for Linux here as well. I'm just gonna download the Windows installer. It's the easiest one to install. And once I put it on the machine, I just double click and I install it. This will come up on Windows. You can click here and click run anyway and it's just going to come up to install it'll ask you where the location is for your obs you just want to make sure that you give it the correct location and then just click next through the install and you should have the move install completed that was easy now let's see how to configure the move transition here we are in obs and i'm just going to set up a simple scene this is my main camera I'm gonna crop it using the Alt and dragging the edges here to make this box a little more tight and we'll resize it just a little bit. Then I'm gonna go click the plus under sources for this scene and I'm going to add a media source and I think I'll just call this media one and click okay. Now I'm gonna browse to a file that's on my computer that's just a video file. Now this doesn't have to be a video file, this could be anything. It could be a guest screen or it could be some sort of tutorial you're doing Doing. any input will work on this now I'm gonna resize this and we'll put it over here we'll resize this and move it into place and that looks pretty good so now we have our first scene set up we're gonna go into scene two and you can see my video capture device already has my camera in here and I'm just gonna place this somewhere on the screen and I'm gonna go to plus and I'm gonna add that same media source in there media one the one we just created and I'll resize that and place it wherever I want on the screen here and now I'm gonna add another media source once I get these windows organized I'm gonna click the plus and go to media source I'm gonna call this one media 2 and click OK. I'm just going to load another video file in here. Now, like I said, these don't have to be media sources. They can literally be any source that is visible. Now I'm going to resize this and we'll just place it up here. And there we go. So now we have two different scenes, one with two sources and one with three sources. Two of the three sources are the same in both scenes. So now I'm going to click transitions and I'm going to go down and I'm going to add a move. And I'm going to click OK. And it brings up this properties for move box. Now, this top box is where we determine how move transition identifies the sources that we want to move. In this case, the sources all contain the same source name. So I'm going to select contains the same source name. Here you can cache the transition. So if you have a lot of movement or something that it can remember it and move it faster, you can change the switch point. And that's the point that the transition actually occurs. Since this is kind of a unique transition, I don't really worry about it too much. Here you can change the way that your object move on the screen, ease in, ease out, or just ease in and out, or none, and you can make sure that the transition scale type and all that stuff is to your needs. And then there's the curve for the way that your objects are going to move around the screen, and you can adjust that. Now we're going to move to appearing items, and this is going to be how items that are going to appear on your screen are going to come in. And I'm going to change the position to the right because that's where the box we're moving in comes from and you can adjust the type of transition that you want to move i'm just going to keep none here and then disappearing items how do you want your items to disappear out of the screen in my case once again we have that item on the right and i want it to disappear to the right 
So I'm just going to select the position as right and we can preview that and you can see it A switches to B by disappearing off the page to the right. So how does this gonna work? Well, let's click OK and here we have our first scene. If I switch to the second scene, you can see that that third box will just pop in from the right and the other two boxes move seamlessly from one position to the next. It's, I mean, how cool is that? This is just an amazing thing that you can do with live guests or something like that. I mean, you can basically move from one scene to another just rearranging your assets. This can add so many cool features. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rearrange these boxes here again and I'm gonna add that third video element in here that we already added in the other scene. So I'm gonna click the plus and I'm gonna go to media source and I'm just gonna add media two and I'm gonna shrink this down and place it down here. And there we go. I'm gonna readjust the size of this box and there we go. So now we don't have any items disappearing or reappearing on the screen. What it will do is just reorganize those boxes and reshape and resize them depending upon where they are in each scene. And it moves completely seamless from one scene to the other. How cool is that? I mean, this is just the best plugin that you can get for OBS. Once you have it how you want it, you can go in here and play around with the ease in, ease out. That'll adjust how things move. You can even adjust it with a curve. There's just so many cool things that you can do with the move transition. That is so awesome. But you can do more with the move transition by moving stuff around a scene as well. If this video is helpful, please take a moment and click that like button below to let YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And now back to OBS. Now this is a really cool aspect of the move transition. And what it means is, as you can see on the screen, I have a background that might be part of a tutorial. And then I have my image on the screen as well, down in the bottom left hand corner. So I'll select my image and I'm gonna click the Alt key and drag these edges make the box a little smaller and move it down here into the lower left hand corner now what I want to do is I want to right click on my scene and go to filters now I'm gonna click the plus at the bottom and I'm gonna go to move source and I'm gonna call this one move source space LL for lower left which is the position of my camera then I'm gonna click OK I'm going to select the source here in the properties window in this case it's my video capture device Then I'm gonna scroll down here and you can see you can change the way this stuff moves as well but I'm just gonna to go to the transform here and I'm gonna get the transform and this applies the location and the way that the box is laid out to everything and all this stuff the actions down here you can change these but I'm going to control this with hotkeys so I don't need to change anything here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the plus again and go to move source and now I'm going to move source and we're going to call this LR for lower right and click OK. Now I'm going to take my video window and I'm going to move this over to the right hand side of the screen lower right and I'm going to make sure that I have my source selected in this case it's my video capture device and I'm going to scroll down to transform and I'm going to click get transform so now it has the coordinates for my camera and the crop and everything everything. Next I'm going to click the plus and once again I'm going to add a move source. This one I'm going to call move source and it's going to be UR for upper right. Click OK. Under source I'm going to grab my video capture device. Scroll down to transform. Now I'm going to actually move my video window up to the top right and click get transform. So now it has the location of that window and then I'm going to click the plus and add another move source and this time it's going to be UL or upper left. I'm going to move it to the proper location on the screen and then I'm going to go ahead and select the correct source and I'm going to hit that get transform again and I want to do one more of these and the reason why is because I want to show you that these will work even if you re-transform your window in other words you change the size or you adjust the crop so I'm going to go back down here and I'm going to click that plus once again and go to move source and this one I'm going to call middle and click OK now I'm going to select my video capture device as my source and I'm going to click alt and drag these out so my window is no longer cropped and then I'm just going to resize it to the center of the screen here. And you can see you can adjust and resize it any way you want. I'm going to move it into the center of the screen. And that looks all right. I'm going to scroll down here and click Get Transform. So now that's locked in. And I'm going to click Close. Now we have all the spots we want our camera to move. We're going to go down here to Settings. And we're going to go to Hotkeys. 
Now, all I need to do is scroll down and find those filter entries. And of course, we're working in scene, so they're right here. And I'm going to select each one and assign a hotkey to it. And I just do this on the number pad with uh, keys that actually represent those locations. Makes it pretty easy. Once I do that, I click apply. And now when I go out, when I click those hotkeys, you can see my camera moving around the screen in a really smooth, cool fashion. And you can select any hotkeys you want to move your camera around the screen. And it doesn't just have to be a camera. It can be literally any scene object. How cool is that? That is pretty freaking epic. You're gonna love this one, so make sure you give it a try. If you wanna see how to create a custom stinger transition for OBS using free software, definitely check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.